everyone, this is what I think here. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the first book in the Skullduggery Pleasant series. The Skullduggery Pleasant series is an amazing horror thriller series that is written by Derek Landy, an acclaimed screenwriter and author who is most known for Skullduggery Pleasant. Let's get started. So the main plot is that a young teen, uh, what teenager per se, a young girl, Stephanie Edgley, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Well, her uncle dies mysteriously. Her uncle, Gordon Edgley, is a famous horror and thriller writer. And, well, he died and leaves, he leaves Stephanie, his entire fortune, and like real estate to Stephanie when she turns 18. And when she turns 18, she can inherit them. And when she later stays at Gordon's house, She's attacked by a man who asks for a certain key. And then a living skeleton walks in and saves her life. And then from there on, she's sucked into a world of vampires, werewolves, sorcerers, you name it, it's probably there. Like, and all the events that start happening are very, very uncannily close to what her uncle Gordon wrote. And well, the rest is history. After they after the man attacked her, the living skeleton, who goes by Skullduggy Pleasant, saves Stephanie and talks her into, well not talks her into, but Stephanie wants to know more about this magic world. And Skullduggy is very reluctant at first, but he gives in later on. And well, the rest is history. The duo then go around Ireland, the, the place where the story is mainly set in, fighting crime and saving the world. Now, let's talk about my favorite characters. My favorite characters, well, the main one being Skullduggery Pleasant. He's witty and humorous, and he makes sarcastic remarks that really get me. And Stephanie does make some sarcastic remarks, but I just like, Skullduggery's just hit me more than Stephanie's. I will, another character is China Soros, who uses her magical abilities and her natural beauty to get what she wants. And she is very cunning, and whenever she does something, it's mainly because she has it like it pr profits her, she profits from whatever she's going to be doing. And yeah, she's an interesting character, and her character development over the series is like huge. It's like type of Iron Man kind of character development. Then, finally, likes and dislikes. There are likes. I don't really hate this book or the series in general, except with some decisions that I didn't really like. But main one in this book is the fact that Stephanie has the blood of a special species or culture. And of course, she being the main character has the blood of the special people and only she can save the world. It, it just feels a bit cliche. I mean, this book, this book over here released in 2010 so, I mean, yeah, it wasn't cliche back then, but now it's really cliche. But it's still a very refreshing detective story. And I give this story 7 out of 10. So, it has some flaws, like some character decisions that I really, really didn't like, or some cliches. But overall, it's a great story, and it's a great start to what would become an amazing world that Derek Landy has totally hooked me on. And yeah, pretty much that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.